So I find certain subreddits quite fascinating, and our polyamorous is always one of those amusing ones. And I found a particular thread from 2013 that I thought was uh, very interesting and I wanted to talk about. Uh, and But before we go on, right, go, if you want to support us, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Um, go over to lowseas.com and watch this uh, relationship advice from Patrice O'Neill, How to Be a Man, uh, because this is good grounding from where he is to where the people on our polyamory are. Uh, it's it's a, a vast gulf <coughs> that's like a million miles away. And here's a here's a selection of things that basically you don't do. So the first one, sorry. <coughs> let's let's begin with some bad examples, right? So I've been ill all this week, so I'm just Can you tell me now? <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting over this this cough. So let's go to this first one, right? Because this is just amazing. You see, double standards, right? Me, uh, my, and this is 23-year-old NB, so woman. What does NB <coughs> mean? Non-binary. What? Okay, all right, yeah. I'm not a man or a woman, you're a girl. So it's all a right. woman. Yeah. Uh, they, they, my boyfriend, 30 male, seems to have double standards for our dating. We've been non-monogamous from the start of our relationship, but we weren't really actively seeing other people until six months in. It's probably been another six months since then, and things have settled pretty nicely. I definitely had an unexpected panic when he first started to more actively pursue other people. Right, so you're not really into this. Like, as you can see, like the human heart tends to attach to just one other person. And then as soon as, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, non-monogamous relationship, brilliant, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going out on a date. Whoa, wait a minute, you can't do that to me. That's the instant thought from the people who are trying to pursue this, right? I was surprised by this. I'm really honest with him as, as, uh, as I unearthed some self-esteem issues that led me to feeling really scared he'd leave me. You know, this isn't for you. This isn't for anyone, really, because all of this subreddit is just people going, Okay, here's why this isn't working for me. Uh, and <laughs> carries on. These days I'm in therapy. Of course you are. And the real reason that I'm scared and uh, is that he is not going to be someone else that's going to overshadow me. We're both pretty active in dating now and we're both queer. There's a, not a lot of active jealousy and I tend to, <laughs> tend to mostly date women. He tends to mostly see men. Right. Okay. So why are you together? Yeah, exactly. Every once in a while, I'm interested. Are you together? What am I? Well, that, yeah, no, no, it keeps going. Every once in a while, I'm interested in a man, and he seems to be more jealous than he ever is with women. This isn't. This isn't right. This, it, like as soon. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just could oh, you imagine telling a Muslim about this story? <laughs> so there's a non-binary girl, and <laughs> and when she's having sex with women, her boyfriend doesn't care. <laughs> but as soon as I go on a date with a man, suddenly my very open-minded boyfriend has a problem with it. Uh, yes, so uh, it's basically uh, an absolute mess, as you can see. I, I don't have a lot of opinions on how people should live their sexual lives or whatever, like, <laughs> uh, whatever you know. But when it comes to polygamy, I've always found it a complete joke. Yes, I mean the very famous example in the UK being our former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who had an open relationship with his wife when he was Mayor of London, and the rule was don't catch feelings, which totally worked out because he ended up catching feelings, divorcing his wife, and getting with the new lady. Yeah, that that seems to be exactly the problem. Uh, which, it just seems to be the end result, always. I don't yeah. know how this works for people. Because it turns out that sex and romantic feelings are inextricably linked in human beings. Probably an evolutionary necessity for the purposes of procreation that we can't really do much about. Anyway, next one. Wait, in we're fact, not spiders that just have sex? Well, I mean, we're not. no, we're not spiders <laughs> that just have sex. And a lot of spiders eat their mates afterwards anyway. So the, so. the ideological hero of Al-Qaeda... Uh, he, when he was go on <laughs> weird segue <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing that radicalized him into wanting to blow up the west was our polyamory <laughs> unironically <laughs> so he was he visited the United States whole other bunch of stuff happened yeah. but then he ended up in some dry uh, city at university yeah. and he ran into a professor who was like ah oh, you orientals you value uh, sex too much you think it's uh, sacred like we why should we should have sex like animals do like the mare and the stallion <laughs> the cow whatever and he just looks at her with disgust and he's just well, like no, no surprise 
Christ. She's like, don't you just want to be an animal? Yeah. Like, no. This is the point in his life where he's debating becoming a modern man of the West or <laughs> like a, a literal Luddite you know, yeah. Islamist. And he picks the Luddite Islamist and then that's how Al-Qaeda was actually inspired to become. So, <laughs> well, I'm not too terribly surprised, so, to be I mean, honest. This sort of thing, you might think it's funny, but it technically calls 9-11. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, going on to catching feelings and uh, having relationships destroyed. Now, you'll notice that these there are often... Most of the, not most, but more posts than not I found when I was looking through the subreddit are women complaining about this, right? You would think it would be men because men in the dating pool have a much more difficult time of achieving casual sex. But actually, no, this is something that the women seem to be complaining more about. So next one. Short context. My husband and I had a bit of a tiff a couple of weeks ago where he forgot about me while on a date and showed up at one in the morning instead of 8.30 p.m. And she says, me, did you try and reschedule with her? And her husband, John, said, come on, babe, you know I'd show up at the date with her even if I was dead lol. I mean, my wife would explode. Like it would be nuclear. Like they, I mean, hey, I, I, you know, my, I wouldn't even ever dream of bringing this up to my wife. Obviously, you know, do you mind if I got it? But just the lack, the, just the prioritization, the and just like, oh no, I really can't. I can't wait to go on a date with her. I'll see you later. Like you, you just, yeah, I know. My wife gets angry if I paint too many evenings in the, in a week, right? <laughs> 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 like, like there is, this is just you're cheating on me with your little models <laughs> basically yeah yeah there is that sort of you know envy and so like this is and she says this quote needless to say my marriage is over it's like yeah, needless to say why were you doing this in the first place you know it's because you thought you could get what you wanted and have everything the way you know both ways she says, I am absolutely 100% baffled as to how a 35-year-old qualified professional, otherwise caring man, does not see anything wrong with the above sentence. He was still arguing, but I live with her. You only get to spend X time with girlfriends or dates, so it's only fair if I ask the wife to reschedule. It's really, really, how, how did your marriage fail, right? She says, and she, she concludes with this, John, we are married. <laughs> okay, but you're having sex with people outside of the marriage. <laughs> You just successfully prioritized your project over me, while you failed or refused to do what two of your uh, two, two, you failed to refuse to do that with two of your other partners. You prioritized your secondary partner's work and a casual date over me, your wife. Oh, that's right, me, your wife. Yeah, as if that's something exclusive and sacred, which it's it, not. Exactly. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you appealing to at that point? It's me, your wife. Yeah, but you're just one of many. What? <laughs> I mean, again, I, I bring the Muslim into the conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, aren't we just animals? <laughs> like what? But that's the thing, isn't it? The, the appeal to the the sacredness of the wife. This is now an appeal to some sort of metaphysical formula where it's like, look, I have a station here. I'm I'm the wife. I deserve respect. It's like, yeah, but yeah, but she's my project. It, but you've reduced everything to the status of just merely being an animal. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, and so, anyway, moving on to the next one. Here's one from a man uh, who, and I'm just reading this, just like, bro, just deal with it. Deal with it like a man. You know, what would Patrice O'Neill have said about this guy, right? He says this, I still didn't walk away. My girlfriend keeps on lying. She started an affair in an open relationship. Uh, how? Wow, uh, yeah. Because, like you were saying, you don't want to catch feelings, right? This is the affair. Oh, right. She, she has feelings for this guy. Facing the facts, she can't do ethical non-monogamy, because there's no such thing. She is in love, very deeply. I tried to support her in every possible way. I explained my boundaries over and over again. She ignored them over and over again. Mate, that's not your girlfriend. But then why hasn't he left? Because I, I, I don't get it, but these people, like, they set up and they're like, right, these are the boundaries of the weird relationship yep. we're going to have. And then she's broken. They're like, okay, then it's over, like a contract. Well, there are, there are other reasons, aren't there? Tonight will be the night where I tell her that her affair uh, and I just can't cope with it anymore. I wish I could trust them and tell them, trust them to what? What's the... <laughs> What's the trust? They yeah, put the boundaries. Exactly. Uh, to give up the affair or give up on our relationship, but I can't trust them anymore. Every day another lie surfaces. Each and every time it's on me to explain that those lies create a toxic environment for me and our children. Oh, God. There we go. Oh. Mm. Mm. Even if they tell me they will cool down their relationship, it was mu too much lying. Here's her boss. They work together very closely. They will not be able to deal with their mutual attraction. She feels I take her freedom away when I ask for open communication. She can't make time for counseling because of her job. Just, dude, this is over. 
This is dead on arrival. What are you doing? Like, this is the most pathetic thing in the world. I mean, at least in family court, you'd be able to argue you did nothing wrong. Sure. I mean, but he says, uh, you know, I dread losing everything. I will lose my family. It's like, maybe, you know. Maybe not. I mean, but maybe not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a family court. Yeah, she cheated on me yeah. with her boss. I'm taking the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what judge in the world is going to be like, well, no, she's staying with the cheating. Like. But I love this kind of cult-like attitude, right? So many if onlys are in my head. Is ethical non-monogamy to blame for this? Would a veto have helped? <laughs> Should I have been less supportive? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's nothing. No, if we were monogamous, uh, this this <laughs> might have not happened. I think. Well, the, this he oh, says, Mister Reddit. He says this. This exact same situation occurs in a monogamous context every day. It's like no, it doesn't. No, no. Yeah, no. people get cheated on and relationships break up. That's correct, but that's not what's happening here. What you've done is allowed her to go off and have sex with her boss, and she's fallen in love with him. But even with his own framework, I presume originally of like we'll have these boundaries. Mm. Those have already been broken, so you're done. Yeah. And you're still there, why? You would think so, wouldn't you? But he says, working towards a poly structure will have given me the strength to accept reality. Some people are just cheaters in any context. So is this cheating? How is this cheating? Because he caught feelings. Exactly. Caught feelings. That, that's the cheating part, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, he uh, he says thank you to the, uh, <laughs> the polyamorous community for supporting him. Is that okay? But they did drive you to this point, didn't they? Like, it was you being on this Reddit every day there's what all the chat is noticing everyone's just like reddit 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 yeah. Uh, yeah it did just happen to be every one of these was reddit yeah and so this is where we come to uh, an old post from 2013 that i think is probably true because i had to go and dig up archives of this uh from the web archive on redditlog.com so this had been quite thoroughly scrubbed actually from the internet and I, so i had to go and dig this up and it's a, by a woman uh and again there appears to be no particular reason that this would be uh falsified and this king is the example you follow if one of, if the person you're having a relationship with even make, makes the merest hint of the concept of an open relationship right she uh it begins with this, TLDR, I love my boyfriend, was curious about some of the guys. I asked him and he broke up with me on the spot. How do I get him back? I feel like he's overreacting. Is he overreacting, Callum? I think that's done. Yeah. I, I don't think he's coming back. I. What was the wording she used? She she asked about some other guys? Yeah, well, she she begins with, I'm not going to bore you guys with huge blocks of text, but you can see. And block of text. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, But that's fine, because it's, it's an entertaining block of text, right? <laughs> no, no, Trust me, this block of text is worth it. <laughs> no, no, this one actually no, is. No, it's true. Like, it's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend for five years, right? Five years. So you'd think you'd know the guy pretty well after being in a relationship with him for five years, right? But this is how she describes him. He's amazing. Great job. Family and friends love him. Intelligent, attractive, supportive, and the sex life is great. What on earth is wrong with this woman? But I, I've got it all, and I want a little bit more. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just want a bit more from... Because you can... It's not right, but you can understand where they're like, oh, you know, he's great at everything, but he's terrible in bed, you know, no, won't do yeah, things yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But not even that. No, so the no. sex life is great, everything's going fine, and you're like, eh, yeah, how do I mess this up? You, you, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's like, mm, everything's perfect. <laughs> I'm not happy, you know, I need to ruin this. One of the important points <sighs> is that we do not fight at all. He's quite firm about this. He thinks fighting is a waste of time and, f and for children. Uh, I've learned early on in the relationship that it's, it's something I've grown to agree with, even though I hated it at first. We always sit down, discuss, and talk about the issues and are able to reach compromises. So this guy, she's making him sound perfect. It's, true. it's too Woman good to be true, this I've guy, right? To fight for no goddamn reason, but now I've learned that it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know. <laughs> He's very understanding and patient. He never gets so angry that he has to raise his voice. He's also quite traditional in some aspects too. Now, you think this would be a warning sign, which is good and bad. Although I've been able to talk to him and open his mind up about certain things, I know he hates cheaters and I do trust him and I know he trusts me too. He's never quite restricted me or not let me do anything. Because of these things about him, I'm quite confused about how he's now acting. I've been thinking about wanting to have an open relationship for a while. <sighs> How to ruin everything. Everything's brilliant. Why can't I just slut around a bit? Because that's that's not the deal. No, that's not the if, deal. If it was the deal, then go for it. Enjoy. Will my, will my traditionalist husband, who's perfect in every single way, agree with me <laughs> slutting around? He keeps taking me to church for some reason. I think he might not want an open relationship. <laughs> He's there with Tweed talking about how we're going to yeah, have yeah, four yeah. kids in a house. <laughs> 
I've been thinking about wanting to have a relationship for a while, and it would be fair both ways. Uh, it's not fair uh, both ways. No. It's just not fair both ways. No, I, I, how, this is such like a pathetic way of thinking, which mm. is that we'll both be able to go off and F people, but he doesn't want that. Like, if he's there in a monogamous relationship, that's the terms. It's been there for five years. He's yeah. not even hinted at anything else. And he's obviously a traditional guy, so he obviously doesn't want this. But even if he did want this, it's never fair anyway, because the women are the gatekeepers of sex. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows that a woman can go to a bar and just pick up some guy and have sex with him, but a man can't just do that. It's an accomplishment for a man to do that. It's just the way it is, it's not just... There, there is a dis... Sure, sure. There's a disimbalance we, of power there. We've got over this, and that's definitely true. Yeah. One thing I do wonder, though, is looking at the ages of all of these examples, mm -hmm. and they're all getting... To she the doesn't 30s. give the ages, instantly. I think this one... Started, it did say at the top, I think. No, no. I, it, anyway. She doesn't. But it, it, I do wonder when... Oh, oh there she we does. are. 26 it, female, 27 male. Right, right. I'm wondering, once it starts to hit 30... I wonder if there's a power imbalance around that point. Well, there probably is. I mean, I, can ima I can't imagine many 40-year-old women are saying, me and my 40-year-old husband want an open relationship because he's going to be banging 30-year-olds. Yeah. You know, that's, so that's what I'm wondering as well. Which is <laughs> That's a great point. It's women in the prime of their life at the peak of their attractiveness. They're like, oh, I'll be fine. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, carrying on, right? Um, he, she, uh, she carries on. I know he's quite traditional, but, uh, sorry, in fact, <laughs> I still can't get over. We, we would get to sleep with other people as long as we were honest about it and it was purely physical, which we know it's never just purely physical. Even porn stars have this problem. Yes. I've said it so many times. There's that beautiful thing from a Louis Theroux documentary where he goes to a porn shoot and a girl and a guy have never met each other, do a shoot, and then afterwards he's like, so do you feel something between each other? And they're like, oh, no, of course not, but you can tell they do. Yeah. And it's after one scene. We'll talk about this in the third segment, actually, but the it, the the... The constant sort of preventing of the forming of bonds uh, makes this one guy unable to love women. He just can't. He just can't do it. And he, he, he becomes an alcoholic because he feels lonely, basically. Well, it's destroyed his humanity. Yeah, exa exactly. Exactly. Uh, she says, anyway, I know he's quite traditional, but it also never seemed like something he would be that against. As he said things like, I have nothing against girls who like to sleep around as long as they don't pretend they're innocent and good girls, etc. It's like That mm. doesn't mean an adulterer. No. That, that means someone who's single on a slot. However, I'm not going to pretend that he isn't a monogamous type of guy, because he is. I just figured that maybe I could open his mind to something different. Why do you want this? You have everything. You have won the game of life. You are clearly a young, attractive woman. You have an amazing husband that you think is perfect in every single way, and you're sat there going, yeah, now how can I get more? What if I chop off my hands? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's very good in bed. I just wanted to have some other experiences. It's just, nothing's enough. Nothing is enough. Is that really so wrong? Yes. Yes, it is really so wrong. Right? I love him and it has nothing to do with just purely physical sex. So a few days ago, I decided to bring really, up- Really, does it not? Then why are you trying to have purely physical sex outside of the relationship? I know. It doesn't compute. So a few days ago, I decided to bring up the topic with, uh, about opening our relationship up with him. His only answers were, are you joking or are you serious? <laughs> to which I said I was being serious, and I wanted to know how he felt about it. He then told me that I could sleep with whoever I wanted to sleep with and to have a nice life. He packed his stuff and left, uh, and I couldn't really stop him. And no. that's what you do when the subject comes up, folks. You say, are you serious? And if they say, yes, I'm serious, you say, okay, great, have fun. And you leave. End of story. Since then, he has blocked me from calling him, all his social media, and won't speak to me. I don't know where he's staying because his friends refuse to talk to me. I've been crying my eyes out for the past few days. So he's a king amongst kings. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's just, I, oh, God. And now he's out there sleeping with other women and you're upset. I was like, he's probably not. He's probably not just hauling nah, around. Probably he'll just find someone else. Yeah. He has removed his relationship status from Facebook and sent his friend over to get some of the other stuff, who told me that he would eventually come to get the rest of the things but wouldn't tell me anything else. He said, I've done enough damage and he's ashamed that I thought I would end up uh, married with his friend. He also told me that I would be happier and better off I didn't pretend to be somebody I wasn't when, st when I started dating again. If he said he wasn't comfortable with it, I would have been okay, but, that ne but he never gave me the chance. Why would he need to? You are just literally, can I sleep with other guys? No, and you're clearly the wrong woman for me. Why aren't you respecting that you know I am a traditionalist? You know I want a monogamous relationship. She says she knows. He's always been, I know he's a monogamous guy, but I thought I could open him up to being the opposite of what he is. No. 
It's disgusting. And it's, I mean, there's probably a higher chance of success of trying to convert a Catholic to being a Muslim. Well, probably, yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's also like, after five years, you've been with him, and you had no idea how he'd react to this. You thought he'd be like, oh, maybe I'll think about it. Like, are you serious? You know, you, you, she's the most self-centered person in the world. She has everything. She needs more. And she doesn't even understand the guy she's with. I can't, the fundamental thing here, though, I, I don't know what. Maybe she's clearly not happy and it's cope or something. I but, don't know. She says she was thrilled, you know. But it's the sex thing where she's like, oh, I just want to have more experiences in the bedroom. But he's great. And he'll, he seemingly is up for experimenting. Mm. It's like, well, I mean, there are an endless list of things you can do before you get to having sex with random men. Yeah. And if you haven't yeah. filled out that list, I... I don't believe it. <laughs> like, but, uh, but I love it. He literally just broke up with me for bringing it up and he's never been like this before. It's like, because you, like, he views your relationship as something magical and sacred. It is, it is a precious and pure thing in his mind. And you're like, yeah, so can I profane this? Can I just shag some of the money? He's like, right, you're not the, you're not the person. And so he took the absolute giga chad move and just went like, right, okay, bye. You know? You're not the guy. I had a guy. You're not it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to his workplace, but I haven't been able to see him. And I can't get to the department where he works. You need clearance. And the receptionist say he isn't taking visits from anyone. I love him so much. Do you? And I've done nothing over the past few days except cry and cry and cry and I don't know what to do. I just want to talk to him and hear his voice and have him forgive me for being so stupid and tell me everything is going to be okay and talk to me like he usually does, but I don't understand how he can act like this and is, because he's never acted like this before. Really. The, just the, the absolute hubris of this. I just feel the self-entitlement. Oh, yeah, the double takes though, where she's like, I was so stupid, but I don't understand why he's so... like. Yes. You can't <laughs> think you're stupid if you don't understand the severity of what you've done. Yes. Like you, you have you have debauched yourself. I mean, it's literally like, it, like if you, I don't know, just like if your wife comes in and goes, right, should we should we think about eating one of the kids? You'd be like, what? That's a good point, honey. Yeah, I just want to open up your mind. Why have you taken the kids away from me? I heard babies taste best, honey. Yeah. Why 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 have you called the police on me? I don't understand. <laughs> I just you know? wanted to skin a child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want you to forgive me for being so stupid, you know, and tell me everything's going to be okay. It's like you... But I don't understand why you're acting like this. Eating babies is very normal. But she's acting like she's got no duty of care to the sacral nature of their relationship. That's the problem. That's what he spotted instantly and was just like, yep, yeah, no, that right. I I see I got I now have the true measure of you. Now there is the argument that well, you've been with her for five years, mate. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see anything sooner. You know, who knows? But uh, the only thing I've been able to get from him is one of my mutual friends talked to him for a while, but he basically didn't want to talk about, about it to anyone else. Uh, the friend did ask him if he's really going to throw away five years over something so small, to which my boyfriend apparently said that he's not throwing anything away. He's cutting his losses while he can. Just get that man a crown. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a spawn. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, this is, this is the kind of man who deserves to inherit the earth. Uh, so... <laughs> Posting this, how do you think the responses came out? Um, I don't know. It's on Reddit. But it was pretty brutal, actually. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, surprise. The first one, no offense, but this guy sounds pretty awesome and I want to be his friend. <laughs> 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 you said in the outline that he's a monogamous type of guy and the sex is great. And based off what he said of girls who sleep around, I can probably conclude he views it the same way I do. It's a free world. You can sleep with who and however many people you want, but that doesn't mean that I would want to be that person, that person to be my girlfriend, fiance, or wife. I mean... You know, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Uh, you don't really explain why you want to sleep with other people. You just want experiences, you know. Um, but, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think you thought it out all that much. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't think she did, did she? Um, there's a, she replies to this going like, I want to write to him, but I think he'll just throw it away. I don't know. It had been five years and I wouldn't have minded having new people in our sexual lives, but it could have gone both ways. What is wrong with you? I just thought he would have been open to new things. <laughs> Why? If you like, yeah, can we try a different restaurant? Maybe we can go on <laughs> holiday to a different place. Like even in a sexual manner, he'd be like, "Oh, do you mind if we do this in the bedroom yeah. tonight or something?" And it sounds like he would have done that. Mm -hmm. And instead, no, you know, when you went with, "What if we introduce a third party?" Yeah. What if we just profane our relationship completely, and have can can just some other guy rail me for a bit? 
Like, can you imagine your wife and girlfriend saying that? Like, you, toys weren't enough or something? You yeah. were like, no, I need another guy. Just like, yeah. right, all right. I, I, just a couple of other guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 10, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> like, you, you I just want to like, look like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> no wonder this guy's just like, right, okay, I'm uh, out. You know, I'm just, done. You know, refuses, leaves, refuses to elaborate, you know. Just, but she's like, I don't really, I don't understand why you would just cut me off without giving me an explanation. I don't really think that's fair. All I want is to get railed by some other guys. And he just wouldn't even explain why he wasn't in favor of that. I just, uh, oh. <laughs> but anyway, there, 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 there was a great reply here. You probably changed his view of you forever. I would dump my significant other for seriously, for seriously suggesting an open relationship. If I stayed, I'd feel too insecure about the relationship to continue. He's a monogamous guy. You're not. And he realizes that it would never work. And, uh, and she, she goes, Oh, can I ask why you'd be too scared? It's like, no, no, you can't. Right. You, you, clearly will never understand you know what this is about but uh, but anyway I'll, I'll leave it there but that was just like that's what you do if your significant other comes to you and says can i have no relationship you say no bye if you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the lotus eaters you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site such as the premium interviews we do this one on black guns matter an interview with madge Torre by harry if you want to find out what else harry's putting out you can follow him on getter at harry lotus eater on getter thank you and goodbye